Okay, here we are, all set up, ready to show you a half beast. And this, uh, the weight of this half beast was 125 uh, kilos, and that's dressed weight. And I'll have an explanation of what dressed weight is, so you know what to expect. Um, but here we've got the top side roasts. So there's one, two, three, four top side roasts. We've got blade roast, which we love. I do them in the slow cooker. So there's one, two of those. Um, we also love, uh, of course, the rump steak. So there's two in a pack. We get the butcher to do that. So it's nice and easy, nice meal size. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve of those lovely rump steaks. We get the porterhouse done as well. You've got lots of choice when you choose a, a half beast. So we get the porterhouse, which is two, four, six porterhouse steak. The eye fillet. Always a little bit of eye fillet, so there are maybe a couple of steaks in there, uh, maybe one or two. So one, two, three packets of, um, of eye, eye fillet steak. Um, and did you know, in a whole beast there's only 1.5 kilos um, of eye fillet. So we've probably, um, yeah, got nearly one kilo of that. Um, here we go, we've got the T-bone steak, so we've got two four, uh, six, eight, eight T-bone steaks. And as you can see, they're lovely and thick. We get all of the beet um, cut uh, one inch, one inch thickness. And the butcher's really good, pretty precise. Um, we have the osobuco, which of course is great slow cooked. So there's, uh, and that's the shin, the shin bone. Uh, so we've got, we've got there two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, about 14 osso buco. Um, chuck steak, we get, instead of the rolled rib roast, sometimes we get the chuck steak and we find it absolutely beautiful. Um, really important not to overcook though. It, it can get um, a bit tough if, you, if your barbie's too hot. Uh, so of course, um, don't do that and it'll be amazing. So there's two, four, six, eight, what have I got there? 10, 10 chuck steak. So that's one of our new favorites actually. Uh, oyster blades, so you can have this done with bone in as a Y bone or without the bone. So this time we've had the, uh, the oyster blade without the bone. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve oyster blade, which is always a yum. Uh, also the rib fillet. Now we've, we choose um, to get half of it done ribeye on the bone roast, which is amazing. Uh, or you could of course cut that up into big uh, uh, ribeye on the bone steaks is one of Mark's favourites. Uh, and then there's the other half, which is the rib fillet, so without the bone, which I love too. Two, four, six, eight, so eight of those. Uh, beef stir fry, um, so we get that as well. So there's one, we've got one, two, three, four packets, various weights, but like I said, I'll, um, I'll um, detail the weights uh, in a document with this um, video. The brisket, again, we love, slow cooked. So there's two of them. Uh, corn silver side, <laughs> again, I guess we love it all. Um, so there's the silver side, so there's four of those. And as you can see, they're a really good size for a family. Uh, you can throw two in if you want some leftovers. Uh, short ribs, again, we've got a great recipe for them. Some of our customers love them and buy them from the, uh, the farm store, from me from Landsborough quite often. Now, a third of the animal is mince. So a third of your order will be mince and sausages. So we always get half and half. So we've got a, a lovely supply of mince. These are all 500, around 500 gram packets. Well, that one's right on, 500 grams, that's unusual. Um, and then uh, sausages. So you can have all different flavored sausages too, but uh, we just choose to have the plain beef. Um, and again, I've got a really nice, interesting recipe um, to use sausages, makes life a bit more exciting. Uh, and then bones, so these, I think these, anyway, they weigh various um, weights, but uh, again, the butcher um, does them up in um, really good bag sizes, so they're, it's quite flexible. Um, can freeze some, keep some fresh uh, for your puppy. Or, of course, making broth, which a lot of people are into it now. Um, so there's some soup bones as well, and they're the, um, the marrow bones. So there you have it. Uh, there is a side of our beef. Um, as you can see, there's some lovely fat through it, of course, which is um, amazing grass-fed 
fat only comes from the um, the good healthy fats only come from the animals that eat the grass. So there you go. So thanks so much and uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Bye.